Hey builders, uh, today I want to show you how to take a single input and split it into multiple outputs. Um, I watched a fellow streamer struggle on this puzzle for 10 plus minutes uh, and then I moved on, but he was having trouble with just doing this. So I know, I know most of you have probably gotten past it. Um, my first time through here, I had a really ugly, inelegant, big solution that was fun to make, but not my best. So here, we're gonna show you just a simple trick um, on how to do this. You're gonna end up doing it in essentially every puzzle after this point. So here goes. First, just get the pieces moving, and then we know we want five, so we're gonna make a landing pad for our five pieces. So what's gonna happen here is as the pieces fall down, they'll push each other over one by one until we have five lined up. So it's gonna be like this. And then, there. This is the state we're looking for. The five pieces we want to use for the, the tube, and then the trio as well, all right here. So, then we just need to process them. So, if, let's see, let's take the group of three in front, the group of two behind it, and then what we want to do is have the group of three be welded right as they arrive. This is a temporary block. Let's take the downwards welder, those. So it'll weld the first two when they arrive, and then when the third one pushes in, it'll weld that third one also. Get rid of these for now. And then the trick is, how do we work with that second group? And what we want to do there is push it over to a second conveyor. And when do we want to push it? That's when that fifth block, it'll be the first one out, but once all the fifth one's assembled, so we can put a downward sensor here to watch for that block. And that will activate the two pushers that we put here. So don't forget to conduit those up. A quick test run. All right, those are welded. Welded and our pressure hits. So then we want this front group to work as well. We could push it. That's definitely an option. Um, it would get us a little extra footprint as we'd have to put blocks here. Oh, but we have the conduit there. So that does completely work as we can just add another pusher here. And it'll already be conduited in and that works. What I like to do, because a lot of times this can save you some steps, is just put a conveyor belt here. And the effect here is that as soon as that fifth block hits, the back two get pushed, this hit the conveyor belt, and then everything's good to move. So at that point, we need to set up what these pieces are going to do. And they can just go forward after this. The trick is they're not welded yet, so we still need to weld them. So we can go back to our downwards welders, stick them up on the roof right here. So then they'll get welded as they come through. And at that point, as soon as those are pushed over, we have our group of two in the back, our group of threes here in the front. They're all on the conveyor belt, all at the same time, and they can just continue on. So at this point, you have two ways to finish this off. You can either take them on this line and continue forwards, uh, and then somehow try to split them. But since I put them on the same conveyor belt, I guess the easiest way is if you wanted to keep them separate, you could run them over here this way and then have them go sideways into their exits. Or the cool trick that the link game lets you do is so I'll have them fall and we'll run them through the same outputs. They'll both go through both sets of outputs. And the pair of three, or the, the trio, pass right through the pair's output and go to its own, and then when the pair hits it, it will stop there. So to see this in action, so it loads up five, the three and the two, they all just travel together, shift over, hit the exit. So we can turn on our footprint and see that we have very little extra footprint squares right there. It's all stuff we needed for equipment anyway. So no wasted space. And there's a little bit of way to trim footprint off here, and there's definitely ways to trim up speed. Uh, we have to use fancier methods then. You see my results? Uh, I actually improved it a little bit, a little more efficient than my last footprint. But 176 and 38 on the front end of those curves. Um, this big spike being from running at nearly max speed, as you can see one of my friends did. And that's it. That's how you can take one input, split it up into multiple outputs.